about Goldie Blocks. So Goldie Blocks is a toy company on a mission to inspire girls to get interested in engineering and technology through play. Oh, I love to see the toys. Let's go check them out. Okay. And this is our workshop. It's so much fun. <laughs> I would say we work hard, but we play even harder. Tell me about some of these toys that you have out here. This is called Goldie Blocks and the Builder Survival Kit. And one of the big insights that we've had around trying to get girls interested in building is uh, a lot of construction toys just come with the instruction manual. You know, here's how to build the thing on the front. Right. But what we found with girls is that they don't just care about building the thing, mm -hmm. uh, they want to know why. That was the insight that led us to doing storytelling as a way to get girls motivated to build. Our new app is called Goldie Blocks and the Movie Machine. Mm. And it's really fun on its own, but actually it complements our Movie Machine toy. But here we have the story of Goldie and her friends. And we find out that the film festival in Blockstown is canceled <laughs> because the projector is broken. I love this. Okay. And Goldie and her friends have to figure out a way to save it. And so as we read through the book, we find Goldie's aha moment which is to build a zoetrope. A zoetrope is the very first pre-cinema animation machine. Mm -hmm. So we're taking engineering and using it to make movies. And this is the final zoetrope, Amazing. where if you look through the slits. Oh my gosh. Okay, this you is the coolest toy. Have a movie. <laughs> How did you decide to launch your own business and when did you know you were succeeding? Well, I decided to launch my own business right when really I had the first spark for Goldie Box. And it was that I had a, a girlfriend who studied mechanical engineering and argued that her interest in engineering was born playing with her older brother's hand-me-down construction toys. And literally, that day, it felt like an epiphany moment. And at that point, even though I know it's risky, it didn't seem like a risk because in some ways it didn't feel like a choice. Mm -hmm. It felt like this is what I was born to do. And I know in college you actually studied engineering and product design. You really fused those two things remarkably well. And it really could not have seemed uh, less interesting to me at first, mm -hmm. but once I kind of dove into it a little bit, I actually found it was a great outlet for creativity. So how much of Debbie is in Goldie? The Goldie character, you know, a lot of it I think back to my childhood. I, what I want to tell girls is that it's okay to not be obsessed with being perfect mm -hmm. and not to obsess about the way that you look. It's more about the way that you think and, and, and that's cool. And it's cool to tackle things and um, try something and no matter what, even if you fail, you try again and again, that that's how you learn and then that's how you can have the biggest success is through failure. Thank you so much for having me here today. I love getting to play with all of these toys, and I can't wait to see what Goldie does next. For more advice from our fearless founders, visit Glam on YouTube and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and leave a comment below.